everyone. My name is Katie and I'm an educator at the UMFA. For this art break, we'll be exploring expressive art by looking at Robert Arneson's 1976 self-portrait, Breathless, before making our own expressive designs. Let's look closely at this artwork. Pay special attention to its scale, textures, and color that are so essential to the expression. Arneson once said, I want to make high art that is funny, outrageous, and also reveals the human condition. What about this artwork is funny or outrageous? How can you relate to this artwork as a fellow human? What you may not be able to tell from the image is that this artwork is larger than life. Including the stand, this work is a little over three feet tall and almost two feet in width and diameter. Meanwhile, the average human head is seven inches wide and nine inches tall. That makes this artwork over three times as large. Why do you think the artist made this work so big? Traditional monuments of specific people in history have always been slightly larger or more than human scale. Enlarging human figures is often meant to convey the subject's importance. Can you think of any human artworks or monuments you've seen that are a larger scale? Is there anyone you think there should be a monument to? Let's zoom in and notice how the textures provide some distinctive details in Arneson's self-portrait. What's a word you would use to describe the texture or imagine feel of the beard? How about with the hair? How is the texture of the hair on the head different from that of the beard? If you were to make a self-portrait, what would be some distinctive features or textures you would portray? Now, look at the color used by the artist. Using one color with a range of its values is called monochromatic. What's the significance of the blue to the expression this artist is making? How does the use of various blue values work in this artwork? How would the artwork be different if it was all red? What about yellow? As an earthenware sculpture, Breathless was constructed as a hollow form, so it would survive being fired in a kiln. Even then, it still fired at a low heat. But even with all this time and careful thought that went into creating this large artwork and how to make it survive the kiln without exploding, Arneson approached the making of his ceramic artworks thinking about ideas and content not just the form and techniques. Many of Arneson's artworks have a sense of humor. Can you think of any other comical artworks you've seen? Besides being comical, what other meanings could you get from Arneson's expression in Breathless? What expressions would be most relevant to your life right now? Today, you'll create a design for an expressive artwork based on a story. For this activity, you will need writing paper, drawing paper, a pencil, and something to color in with. First, think of an important memory about yourself or one that someone has told you about themselves. Write a summary of that memory down to recall the key moments and people, places, and things involved. Remember to include the beginning, middle, and end. After you've written the summary down, tell the story to a partner, making sure to refer to your notes if needed. Take turns sharing your stories. After you've finished telling both of your stories, work with your partner to list the different emotions the main characters in each story went through. Now design emojis for those different emotions. These emojis can be as simple and abstract as the ones on a phone app to as detailed as Arneson's artwork. This is your artistic vision, so it can express the emotion however you want. For extra inspiration, feel free to make and photograph exaggerated versions of the faces with your partner. Pick your favorite of the emotions you designed and draw on a separate page. On the page, write notes that answer these questions. What size would you make it for your chosen expression? Would it be monumental or a less attention-seeking size? How would you construct this out of clay? What textures would you include and how would you make them? If you were going to make this monochromatic, what one color would you use? Great work, everyone, on exploring your own expressive artwork. Thank you for joining us and taking an artwork with Breathless.